Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Angular video tutorial, we will see that how we can add the Bootstrap input form, so Bootstrap classes, in the Angular form. All right. So these are the points of the video. So first question is why we have to add the Bootstrap. The reason is, as you can see that in the last video, we just made a form with a two input box and one button. But this is not a good looking UI. This is a very awkward actually. All right. So Bootstrap basically make the UI better and prettier so that we can use them and this is also very easy to install in Angular, right? You can just do it within a minute, alright? So this is a point for that. After that we just have to Bootstrap the uh, install and we will just simply add some classes or inputs in the, our form and we will see the example. That's it, alright? So now let's add the Bootstrap with the, a single command. Just do it here. Use your ng, add, iterate, ng Bootstrap. Bootstrap like this, yep, and just put here semantic slash semantic. Yep, mm, let's let's just make me the spell is correct. Just hit the hit it, and uh, within a moment you can see that uh, this is going to install. So uh, I'm just going to pause the video for a while so that uh, we, we can just save the video length. It will just take uh, 30 to 40 seconds. Yeah, you can see that this is installed. When you just install it, you will find the changes in the actually three files. One in the angular.json, angular uh, 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 sorry, package.json, angular.json and the package minus log.json. Right? These two files are were made by, changes are made by me. All right? And after that, if you don't know that uh, what is the Angular classes and how we can simply use it, then you can just simply go in the official website of the Bootstrap 4. Uh, let's see how you can just go it. So just right here, Bootstrap 4. Click on the first link, and this is actually very pretty, so that you can just copy and paste the things. Let's go in the components, and after that, let's find here forms. When just click on the form you will just simplify that the same form is here with the two field email and password we have also the same form but our form is looking very awkward but this is looking nice all right so for that first of all let let's see that uh, how we can just change the classes uh, so just copy this class from here and paste our, on our input box in the email and the password all right and uh, after that let's copy the class for the button also and just paste it simple paste it here right so that's it now you can see that uh okay one more thing sometime you just have to restart your ng server because uh, they this is not going to pick uh, directly the bootstrap changes right so whenever you just uh, restart it it will directly pick your changes so uh, let's wait for a moment. Yeah, it's uh, restart now. Now you can see that the color is changed, but uh, these the fields are uh, very, very large, you know, so that you can just add one more class here. So just cut a form for a while and just put a div tag and just simply use a class with the call SM. Uh, you can use simply Mm -mm, six, yep, and just paste it the phone you back. Just refresh it. Oh, okay, so now you can see that this is form is uh, a little pretty, but if you just want to make the same form, then you can also copy the form from here because uh, this is not a bad idea, also. Just copy the form from here and just paste inside your form. Yep. And you can uh, let's check the changes now. Now you can see that everything is here. But uh, if you just want to remove the extra changes, then you can also do just remove this one and this one. Right. Now let's see how is it looking. So now it's looking very pretty. All right. This is uh, actually genuine and professional form. In the upcoming video, we will learn that how we can put the validations. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye-bye. Take care.